next up on the price is right uh, actually I think I should mention what else will be next up yeah keep you in suspense right um this is a groovy hibachi um now you'll find I might have a pot around here yeah. they're getting expensive that'll do this is not old uh, I would say that this is kind of, they're made in the old style in order to replace those that have, you know, aged to the point where they've decided to, because um, they're still popular, um, to, get a, to get a new one or another one, and in which case this is actually modern, much to my chagrin, uh, from a distance, <laughs> is that an auction house? Uh, from from a distance, and I trip over something on high, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll put my hand up for that." And uh, it turns out that, uh, well, you get it cheap. Um, I'm just gonna have to strike it. I had to clean this out too, by the way. So I'm practically getting nothing. Uh, well, is me tissues. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go and get some tissues and have a grizzle. Alright, these are gonna be these are gonna be next up. Amazing, amazing things these are. Super rare. Shinto. Tissue time. Alright, now. Alright, so from a distance I uh um, anyways, it, it had a, the Yusumi, um, smokeless charcoal kind of stuff in here. You use these little thingies to move your little charcoal-y things around. And then you use this little triangular dealy here and you throw a, a pot on that and that sort of thing. And uh, this was caked in it, up, to, up to here with um, ash uh, from the charcoal. As you can see, really, it's cool patina. I mean, from a distance, it's it's quite, uh, you know, it looks old, but uh, everything works. All, all the things and all that, and you find modern screws in Japan. We say kuyashi, <laughs> meaning like drats. You know, that's that. But, you know, it, it happens on occasion. But yeah, really nice. Tells a bit. Of Cracking in that. Is it cracking? Is it just, yeah, a bit of. Yeah, it works, anyways. Alright, I'm gonna sell it cheap. I'm gonna send it via C mail. It is heavy. And once it's packed, it's gonna be quite heavy. But I think, due to condition wise and the way it looks, it, it'll be a, a very nice presentation, really. So, a very nice presentation, really. Well, I think I, an English gent. Right, what do you reckon, Sakamoto? Anyways, Sakamoto Ryoma. You could, uh, you could, I was talking to this bloke just earlier, and uh, he said to me, oh, do you know who that is? <laughs> Everyone in Japan knows who that is. So, do you study prior to coming to Japan? And you, uh, you definitely, people will be, you'll be well liked, and uh, if you have some knowledge of that chap, well, uh, Yes, anyways, that's a heads up. Okay, so this will be really cheap. And uh, not too cheap because I really don't want to pack it. <laughs> Who would? Right, so that's that. Um, but yeah, I'll lump on a little bit just due to my time of having to deal with it and gasoline and whatever because I've got to go and, you know, I've got to go and send it and all that sort of stuff. So, alright, I'm going to get on to some packing and then I might get on to those awesomes and maybe some of those awesomes or oh, as it's heading into the latter part of the afternoon I think I might clean that get out the old bike sprayer washery jet water whatever that's called again and, uh, cool. That's a Buddhist mark, by the way, before some whoever's. Mm. Anyway. Alright. Right, that's that.